Hi viewers, this is Sea Squee, and you're watching another episode of Sea Squee Talks. So, uh, it's Valentine's Day, and you're out to make it with that special gal so you can finally seal the deal and make it to first base. That's right. You want to go PG all over her face with a big, real good makeout session. Wait, there's more than that? Two more bases plus home? Seriously? Oh my god, I've wasted my life. Anyway, for those of you who haven't completely failed like I apparently have, here's three great ways to sweep her off her feet and finally get that Valentine's Day smooch. Disclaimer, do not take love advice from Sea Squee. Seriously, just don't do it. old-fashioned and lame, and your grandpa already probably told you that buying flowers is the best way to a girl's heart. You know, Sonny, back in my day, I killed a lot of Germans. Mm -hmm. Yes, Grandpa, we know. Oh, yes, oh, I was swimming in the pussy. Yes, I was. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, what? Yeah. It doesn't matter what age you are, guys. Nothing shows a well-thought-out valentine like a bouquet of crappy flowers that you got at the supermarket. You know the ones I mean, the ones that cost $3.99 and last for about two days before they turn black and die. By giving her these specific flowers, she will find you attractive in the fact that she knows now that you know how to save money, and that you've also been thinking ahead by making sure that in a couple days she'll be able to use that vase full of water to rehydrate herself, because really, if you're just buying $3.99 flowers, she's obviously desperate enough, and you're obviously poor enough that she's only got that one drinking glass anyway. Number two, chocolates. Nothing says I love you or please I'm desperate like a good old box of diabetes. Girls absolutely love it when you buy them boxes of fancy chocolates on Valentine's Day because really, who doesn't like candy? Also, she could really stand to put on a few pounds anyway, and you and her both know it. Seriously, she's so skinny that you're worried that you're going to lose her in a storm drain anyway, so you might as well be prepared. Speaking of which, number three, take her out to dinner. Still worried about her being abducted by a breeze in the middle of your date? Easy solution, take her out to eat. Hell, you're already way ahead of me anyway. You've been saving and pinching every penny to make sure that you will have the perfect date. Finally, after all your patience, you finally have enough money to take her and get that amazing meal you've been thinking about since you first saw her eating ice cream at the Walmart Garden Center. Ah, well, and, you know, if that's what you're into. So, where do you take her? Somewhere fancy? Nah. Red Lobster? <laughs> A couple's potluck? No! You take her to McDonald's and order one of those two-for-one meals with a coupon that you got in the mail. Once again, you've shown her two things. First off, that you know how to save money, and secondly, that you can find a bargain as easily as she can spot a reality TV show from a mile away. Also, you've shown her that you're willing to live life on the edge by eating food that will definitely kill you. So, the end of your date has arrived. Now it's time for the big moment. You lean in. Pucker your lips, drawing close to her, and as she closes her eyes, you grab her ice cream and run! Happy Valentine's!